What's going on guys, Bobby here, and today we're going to be playing some Brawl Ball with Firecrow, who is one of the best, if not the best, Brazilian in the game of Brawl Stars, and we're going to be playing with Yump, who is probably the number one Brawl Stars streamer right now, so we do have two special guests on the channel today. Now, I have noticed you guys have been wanting to see some Brawl Ball, so I've been covering a lot of Siege, which comes out every other day, and this is just because Siege is a new, uh, it's a new mode, every single day there are new strats coming out, there's new Brawlers that you can see can perform well, and I've been trying to cover that as much as I can. So I have that, and then I have like five other modes. You know, I got Showdown, Duo Showdown, Bounty, Heist, Gem Grab, and Brawl Ball, but you know, I gotta try and stay with the roots, and I've been reading the comments, I read every single comment. So even if I don't reply, I promise you, I read every single one, and I probably see it multiple times if you comment early on enough too. So, you know, if you ever want to say anything, even if I don't respond, I'm going to see it. So put it down in the comment section below. But I've noticed a lot of, you know, where is Brawl Ball? You know, why aren't you playing a lot of Brawl Ball? You know, I thought you loved Brawl Ball. It is definitely my favorite mode. And I'm definitely going to be covering it some more on my channel than I have been as of late. But anyways, we do have a Rico video on this map already. It was posted about two and three, two to three weeks ago. If you guys want to learn how to play Rico, definitely head over to watch that video. It was more instructional than this one. This one's just going to be me trying to destroy as much as I can with just some live commentary. But anyways, let's get into it. I'm sorry I'm doing a repeat of the exact same brawler on the same map that I did before. I just absolutely love playing Rico here, and I can't get enough of it. So with that being said, let's hop right into the first game. So here we go into the first game. We're going to be facing a Primo, a Jesse, and a Gene. Now we're running a pretty try-hard comp. We're running two of, like, basically the most meta brawlers. Holy, I'm died quickly. And we're basically running Rico for that DPS. You know, I'm going to be... Popping off with Rico, we're able to get the Jesse already. Let's see if we can help Yump over here. We're going to be able to get that Primo. Although we did miss a little bit of that super. I think Firecrow will be able to score. I'm pretty sure. There we go. Firecrow is one of the best scorers in the game. And I'm not even saying that to try and promote him or anything. I've actually never seen like a better, let's call it a mixtape, even a goal scoring mixtape than Firecrow's. Anyways, we're going to be able to take out that Primo. We're probably going to be able to get that Jesse. Let's see if we can get this Gene over here. Bang, we got that triple kill. And we don't want the ball, so we can just, you know. So we can just continuously kill them. But we're going to chill over here. Let's see if we can get this shot off. Let's see if we can get that angle. We're able to get the Primo. God, I love this map. We're able to get that turret. Well, we're kind of trapped. This Gene does not want us to live at all but anyways let's see what we can do over here the primo does have the ball looks like me and fire are gonna go down so yump is going to be defending I'm gonna walk up whoa gene whoa that was a little toxic that was pretty toxic indeed now we're just gonna move up over here we do have the jesse and the nita so we always are gonna have that pressure Toxic, toxic gene. Oh my god! If we didn't hit, we could hit one more. <gasps> Bro, no way, no way. Oh my god, Yump with the huge finesse. Oh my god, he hit three people and then with that trick shot. Holy, that was amazing. Hopefully, yeah, we're gonna. We're, I'm sure Yump's gonna watch us over and save that because that, that was pretty epic. Anyways, let's get into the second game. So here we go into the second game. Now we're going to be facing OG Mini Marley, and I didn't see the third in Swords. So this is definitely a tougher team to be going up against. Let's see how we can do over here. Now we do have a mic on our lane, which is easily going to counter us. So let's see what we can do. This is definitely going to have to be a little bit more focused into this game than normal. We're going to be able to probably get Sword. Yeah, we're going to get Sword really low, and Yump is going to finish him. We got OG up here. Hopefully we can get a big pinch on OG. We were able to get him right there. Firecrow is going to go down to Mini Marley. See if we can hold our own. Again, this is going to be a super, super tough matchup over here. Let's see what we can do. Hide in this bush. Sword is playing aggressive. Let's see if they can pinch and get Mini Marley. They are going to be able to do so. Oh, we did a lot of damage, actually. Oh, Sword with the kind of miss pull over there with the Tara allowing Firecrow to kill. It looks like we have some position. Sucks that we're not alive. Maybe they're able to score. I'm not sure. I don't think so. See a lot of bombs. Looks like Mini Marley, the Dynamite, is probably putting in a lot of work. We're going to be able to get 
uh, sword super low. We're just going to super in here, hopefully take out two of them. We're going to do so, and we're going to be able to get the goal for the one nothing lead. Now, we do have 11 spectators. That is quite a lot, but you do expect that for a tough game like this one, or with a lot of top players. And we are super close to our super. Looks like Fire Curl is going to be a little bit suicidal there. We're going to be able to get OG. And Mini Marley is going to push us back a little. We're going to try and stay on Sword. Just because he's probably the favorable matchup for our Brawler. Unless we're going against OG. Rico v Rico. We are able to take out OG over there. We are over here against Sword. We're going to give Fire Crow the ball probably. Just because it's better if we're spraying this middle area. Just going to try and get our super. There we go. We're going to be able... We're almost able to get Sword. We're able to get Sword over there. We're going to be able to probably get Mini Marley. Yes, we're going to be able to do so. 11... Uh, 15 seconds left. Sorry, we've increased to 18 spectators. Hopefully they just don't score in this 10 seconds. But we're just going to have some pretty decent defense to not allow that. We're just going to make sure we don't get put into that super. We're going to get one. We're going to be able to get sword and that is going to be it in a crazy high level game. That's great for the video. Awesome to be playing there. Super uh, star player. Sorry for fire crow. It looks like sword is playing on his mini. I didn't even realize that. So that kind of put them at a disadvantage. So that's probably why we we're able to win lane against sword a little bit easier, but nonetheless, a great game with some great competition. Let's head into the third game. So here we go into the third game over here. Now we're going to be facing, I think it's a Brazilian team because I'm having a little bit of delay. And if it's not a Brazilian team, it's probably one from South America because we do share that server right now since we're playing with Fire Crow. But anyways, let's pass that off over there. Come on, let's get that Jesse. All right. Let's try and get this turret out of the way for our teammates. So RNG me. Oh, I should have just been selfish and healed. But anyways, let's see what's happening over here going to be able to get out there is probably going to be some offensive pressure from them looks like fire crow is doing a pretty good job with that 1v3 at least holding them back for the time being let's see if we can get this spike we don't want the spike to fully heal up so we're always going to be chipping we are able to get the spike so that's great let's try not to get hit over here by the jess we're going to get a little closer there we go we're able to take out the jesse and the turrets we're going to be giving the ball to fire crow he has more health, and we are far better suit for just shooting over here in the middle. Firecrow did try and get that bait. Let's try and not die to this Nita over here. Just going to go right over here and spray down this bear. Yeah, I'm holding the ball. We're about halfway into the game, exactly halfway now. Firecrow playing very aggressive. Let's see if we have this angle. There we go. We just did some mad damage over there. Going to be able to take out the Nita as well, and we're going to be able... To assist with that goal, Firecrow with the OP goal and the OP kill on the spike with one minute left to go in the game over here. We're going to be shooting that Jesse. Let's see, Firecrow is going to be moving up. He's going to put that bear down. He's going to be protecting us. Let's see if we can get that shot. We don't want... He backed up. Like, what's the point of that? You're going to lose if you back up. But anyways, no trash talk. That's another 2-0 win. 3-0 so far. Love this map. Love Rico. Let's go into one more game and see if we can go 4-0 and dominate with Rico for the entire video. Let's get into it. So here we go into the fourth and final game and we're getting that top competition again. Let's see what we can do. So Sword being an excellent Rico. They put him on Rico. Rip OG. Infoji's Rico, but anyways, let's see what we have here. Looks like they, they don't really counter us, like they obviously aren't counter comping us, but they definitely adjusted to the comp that we are running. As you know, I, I guess they know we we're going to beat them, so they might as well switch. OG is playing his main brawler, Spike. Mini Marley is a great primo, so he's probably going to do a lot of work. Let's see if we can chip him. No, he's going to be able to just walk it in. Wow, they're going full sweat mode over here. Let's try and stay out of middle in case he has super. He does not. A chip. Hopefully we're close to super. Let's see. We are going to be able to acquire our super. Mini Marley is going to move up. We are going to be forced to move back over here. We're going to see if we can hit OG. We are able to hit him a couple times. 
We have to go for the super on Mini Marley. We were able to get some good shots off. We are also able to get our super back. We're gonna give it, we're gonna probably pass it over to Fire Crow over there. Uh, Sword's just chipping, uh, he's trying to get me to move up. Fire Crow with a little bit of too much aggressiveness over there. We're gonna stay woke for that spike. We know the spike. We know G's playstyle, we know he likes to be very <laughs> aggressive. We did just waste some shots over there, but we do need Fire Crow to score a goal anyways. Just because we do need that bear pressure, so we, it's not like we were going to go in in any case. Let's see if we can get a nice super off. Sword did take a while to aim that super. He was really going for a nice one there. We are going to go down, but it looks like they are a little bit pinched at the moment. It looks like Fire Crow is going to be able to get the kill, but we aren't able to push up or do anything great. We got 25 total spectators. This is pretty crazy. I guess people really wanted to watch the rematch. But anyways, OG is going to be backed up with that bear. We're going to see if we can get our super over here. Probably going to be able to get sword. We're going to get sword to one shot. We're going to be able to get mini Marley. Let's see. OG is going to be going down. We're going to super sword. Took a little bit too long with that pass. Let's see if we can get it off. There we go. There is a goal. 20 seconds left in the game and we were able to tie it up. Now mini Marley does have super, which is lethal when there is when he is a primo see what we can do we're able to kill him before he gets the shot off we're going to be able to hit og good amount of time so I, I bet you sword is aiming a super or something yes he was aiming a super on yump he's going to whiff the super we can't allow og to get to the ball because he does have his super and he's going to be able to put it in probably we are going to defend against mini marley over there we're going to move up hopefully we're going to be able to hit sword I'm gonna do that auto aim shot because it's probably better in that scenario. We're gonna be able to get uh, to get OG. I don't know why Yump didn't move up there. We're gonna be able to get Mini Marley too, though. Let's see what's happening. That was kind of a weird pass over there. Get it off, get it off. And there we go. We got the big carries in the bag for that last game. That was huge. That was great. That was a very sweaty game. But that's gonna be it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed those two extremely sweaty games against OG. Back-to-back -back wins, though. Pretty, not easy. I'm not going to say it was easy, but pretty fun games for sure. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed the video, we have a good one planned for tomorrow with a top player globally, a very well-known player and very well-known YouTuber, as well as another video for the next day. So I hope you guys enjoyed the content. As always, like, comment, subscribe. Every single comment, I swear to God, I read them all. Even if I don't reply, I will read every single one. And if you comment early on, I'm going to see them multiple times. So just let me know what you guys want to see. I'll make sure to get it out there. But for that, for now, that's it for today. Peace, guys. See you tomorrow.